screen! Uh, run while you still can! It hurts! It hurts! It, it feels good! <laughs> Quickly, Vic, this way! Red? Quick, barricade the door. We should be safe here. Your color is still intact, right? My color? What? Never mind that! What about my brother Blue? We have to go back! <gasps> Where's she off to in such a hurry? Huh? Come here! Oh dear. Won't you join us, Red? No! Oh. No! So you can better understand the situation. It all started what feels like a lifetime ago now, right after Red turned us all into rainbow friends. Green, orange, purple, and I used to be normal people, as you well know. Red changed us into monsters, and so I- No! No, please! No! Come on, open up! <laughs> join us! You know you want to! Let us in! So you were his guinea pig! Not the word choice I prefer, but essentially, yeah. Unfortunately, none of his potions had the effects we desired. With each failure, Red would curse his existence, shout at no one in particular, and then throw me out of the- Two huge bolts of lightning came down and hit the rods as the rain continued to soak us both. Red contorted as his entire body was electrified. I still- I didn't understand his plan, but as usual, I didn't ask any questions. As the winds and the rain came closer, the roof of the lab was blown off entirely. It was really scary. Red held up a couple of from his body, his color drained out, and went into the layer of water on the ground, which carried it away. Red was left laying there white as a ghost. I rushed over to him and tried to shake him back to life. Unfortunately for me, he did come back, but he wasn't himself anymore. The three of us cornered him. Before he went down, he sniffed the air and could tell something was wrong, so he started to swing his limbs wildly in defense. He nearly knocked the three of us out, and I managed to duck his final blow in time. Didn't take long enough. Before we could question our unusual lack of color, we were on him. He put up a good fight, but I was able to get one good chop in. Orange yelped out in pain before his color left him too. He rose like a zombie, and then we all continued on our hunt to spread. All that was left was Purple, who was no doubt cowering in a vent somewhere. So the four of us split up, searching each and every 